Importing and working with your client's diet diaries created in Easy Diet Diary in Foodworks 7 Professional. So you've got Foodworks 7 Professional and like many dietitians, you're asking your clients to record their food intake in our free iPhone app, Easy Diet Diary. This short clip shows you how your client can send you their diary and how you can view the extended nutrient analysis in Foodworks 7. Here is my client Mia's food diary. She has been using Easy Diet Diary for three days. I've asked Mia to send me her diary. Mia can do this by tapping the menu icon, choosing settings, tapping the email diary to your dietitian option and entering the email address of her dietitian, which is me. The diary is sent to my inbox. I download the attachment on the computer on which I have Foodworks 7 installed. The diary will automatically open in Foodworks 7 with the analysis appearing on the right hand side in the analysis pane. Check through the days in the diary to see that they are complete. This will ensure that the average per day analysis appears correctly. Save the food record by clicking on the blue disk. Enter a name for the food diary. The saved food diary appears in the list of documents on the left hand side. I can see that some of the nutrients are appearing in red. This is because Mia has chosen foods from both the Oz Foods and the Oz Brands databases. Oz Foods 2012 has generic Australian foods with a complete set of nutrients. Oz Brands 2012 contains only the mandatory nutrients from the food label. If your client has scanned foods, these are from the Oz Brands database in Easy Diet Diary. Scanned foods will only contain the mandatory label nutrients. I can see here the mandatory nutrients are appearing in blue. Because the scanned foods have missing values for the other nutrients such as fibre, these all appear in red. To get a full nutrient analysis, I will need to replace each Oz Brands food with a generic Oz Foods equivalent. I can identify which foods are from Oz Brands by clicking on the food and viewing the status bar at the bottom. Alternatively, to identify the Oz Brands foods, I can click on fibre in the analysis pane. Because fibre is not a mandatory label nutrient, foods from Oz Brands will have a question mark in this column to the right of the grid. For example, when Mia has entered a Snickers bar, I will replace this with a generic food from Oz Foods, such as this chocolate bar. Now that I have replaced each of the Oz Brands foods with a generic Oz Foods equivalent, I can see the full nutrient profile. By entering information on the general tab of the food record, I can compare Mia's intake to the nutrient reference values for someone of her age, gender, weight, height, and physical activity level. I can view this information graphically by clicking on the graph icon on the toolbar. I can also view the nutrient reference values on the analysis pane by switching from all components to EER, EAR, AI and UL. To specify which Foodworks database you would like the Easy Diet Diary food diaries imported to, open your desired Foodworks database and choose Tools, Options and select the 
Make this database the destination for EDD di Diaries box. Next time you double click an EDD diary, it will open in this database. The Australian Calorie Counter Easy Diet Diary is available free on the Australian App Store. Foodworks is available for download at cyrus.com.au.